to the lie and appreciate you coming through, bro. Yes, bro. All so right. Long. So while it's fresh in my mind, um, I just finished talking to Walk from Twin Them, right? The group. Mm -hmm. And they were telling me about a brand deal they just signed with um Kyle Waters, Lucayan Waters. Okay. So or beverages, but since I wanna I wanna ask you about your brand deal, right? Mm -hmm. Being an experienced artist, I would like you to talk to other artists about the opportunities there are still, although it's not let's say a fully developed music industry, mm -hmm. talk about the importance of being able to still find those type of niche opportunities to still further your craft. I mean, I think the important thing is for anybody um, in any um, field of work is to study your craft and like study the waves of what's what's happening in your craft. Like, stay ahead of the waves of you know what I mean. And like other places where like what you into might be way more developed. You see, and like that's where you get your information from. When you say what you into might be way more developed, you you saying. Let's like say, the industry, the okay. industry is developed or developed in other countries. Okay. Then yeah, okay. definitely the music industry is. Okay. So um, we follow the four Martin blueprints that that laid that were laid before us in in these other countries, and it's like creating ways to do it here, and so like just stay uh, just to stay up abreast and just to be aware, like stay connected with, with different artists, different creatives, different people in that field. You know what I mean? Like different companies always looking for for creatives to. To help expand them in terms of branding and marketing, and so, and so like artists and um, visual artists, you know, musical artists, they 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 stay at the forefront of those things because of that need. You know what I mean? And um, just be aware of where you you might be needed as an artist. You know what I mean? And like all the, these opportunities will find you. The better you work on your craft and, and become a better artist and expose yourself, and all that helps with you helps with exposure as well. Okay, and I like. I you, know, you said that the exposure because I know I'm not sure how many years ago, but I know you were on a on a tour with when you were part of No Hit Wonders, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it was LA. It was yeah, LA. it was um different parts in in California, LA, and um uh it was uh, Long Beach. So mm -hmm. from that experience, and that would be a more developed music industry in the mm -hmm. United States. Mm -hmm. What 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 are some of the, some of the differences that you saw? internationally and locally and also since that time do you feel like the industry is caught up in any way caught up to the international scene um like i said like we in the information age and so um i see people taking different examples of um of what they could do in other places here yeah. it's like it's just i've seen like Bits and pieces, glimpses, like just not fully developed ideas up and down here. Um, I see it. I see it growing. I, I see. I see one thing that I that I notice people picking up is the is the unity and community aspect of of the industry. Like the fact that it's no one man army. You know what I mean? It's like it's different parts to the machine. Um, and I I, I, I see that's something positive. That's that's um that's that's coming out of the of the industry here. Um, one thing I went to. When I was in when I was um in California was this thing called a record pool that was in Culver City, Culver City, was um, it called California, a record pool, a record pool okay. where um like industry um A and Rs and different artists, different DJs and stuff like that came together. Um, I think it's called the Impact Record Pool. It's okay. the one that I went to. Um, where they just show. Um, showcase the the new music they they've been working on and they plan to release and possibly get it into the circuit of DJs and and you know um just different get your music in different avenues like that um people like you know what I mean like and that was back in 2013 and they thought like um uh the CDs and stuff like that would be obsolete by the time and everybody had to add their CDs you know what I mean as well as flash drives and right. stuff like that like all their um EPKs and and different things like that. Um, electronic press kits. That's like a write up of um, like a biography. Yeah, basically an artist bio. Um, different things like that. Um, if we, if I see us, like we could adopt things like that and like um, and even like get together and bring artists together to like pool and travel and do different record pools around different countries and different different markets and see 
what what fits for which artists, you know what I mean? Like if a dance later, I think they'll definitely help. Um just being more business minded and, and educated on, on the business side of, of music as well as, as how to develop your craft properly. I see a lot of people bring in it and I've been bringing it a long time okay. as well. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but then, I mean, if you want to get to the next level, you would have to accelerate that and find different ways to build your craft to be where you see yourself. Okay, and I like how you said that. And this is the second time you mentioned developing your craft, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'd like you to do is give some of the artists who will be, because artists will be watching you. you. You're one of the more visible artists. So give them some practical ways to develop the craft. Um, dedicate your time to it daily. Um, find at least... If you can't find two hours, find an hour. If you can't find an hour, find 30 minutes to like, like focus on nothing else. But what you um, what you feel like you need to work on in your craft and your artistry. Um, I know with me, um, uh, during the years of 20, late 2013, early 30, uh, early 2014, into like 20. 15, I was having like a serious writer's block in different patches and um, I had to just drop certain habits I had, you know what I mean? It's like I had to drop certain things that weren't productive to, to my artistry, you know what I mean? And dedicate that, that particular time to trying to look at a, a page and listen to, listen to a beat and write something to it, you know what I mean? And eventually I, I wiggled my way out of that. You know what I mean, and to, to the point where I still have, I still have, I still have to, to work on my work ethic in terms of how much I write. You know what I mean, how much I create content. But it's gotten a lot better ever since I dedicated the focus and time and energy to just building that particular part of my songwriting. You know what I mean, and um, just different ways people. You know what I mean? Just it's just scheduling, scheduling your life. Prioritizing, like prioritizing, basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. So I was speaking to Shalon maybe a week or so ago, mm -hmm. and he I mentioned to him that I'd like to have him on the platform as well. And he, the first thing he talked about was before your art and how talented you are was your humility. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. That character trait, I'd like to know why, how do you remain humble, although you grow in invisibility, mm -hmm. growing in notoriety, and why is it important for you to retain that character trait as you get bigger? Um, well, I, I chalk it up to my upbringing, you know what I mean? Um, my parents, first and right. foremost, um, they, uh, they were older, you know what I mean? So. Um, I, I had like an old school upbringing, you know okay. what I mean? Um, people say I have an old soul. Um, I saw people turn, you know what I mean? So I, 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 I was raised on manners and respect, right. you know what I mean? And not only manners and respect, but the consequences of not in, enforcing that within your, your, your daily routine. So um, I think, and I always think about the consequence of, of something before I do it. That's why you see me move so carefully in the way I do things. You don't see me release as much music as as the other artists are, like do certain things that you see other artists do because I um, I just, I'm aware of the pros and the cons for the most part I mean, in, ter in terms of how like my gut feels about certain things, you know what I mean? Um, and I, I follow my gut and my gut tells me to keep it low, you know, keep it low head, you know what I mean? Because, you know, <laughs> it's easy to get, it's, when your head's out there, it's easy to get attacked and it's easy to get more vulnerable. So he said, I feel like my, my humility sort of is a like shield wow. for, for a lot of different things like that. You know what I mean? I don't have to deal with a lot of garbage because of my humility. You wow. know what I mean? So I use it as a weapon, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, it's like a lot of people would try to take the kindness for weakness, but that comes along with the territory. But I, I just, it's a, it's a daily decision to just be humble. You know what I mean? Um, Sometimes to my detriment, sometimes I, I've heard sometimes they be overly humble. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's a growing process and that's just the path it chose. Okay. Now, to deviate a little bit because you, you made an important distinction between not just having manners and respect, but the consequences of lacking it. Mm. Now, it's obvious today, actually, I heard on the news that we already passed the murder count for the prior year. So, do you think that the, the lack of 
enforcement of consequences has anything to do with that deterioration of the social construct? Definitely. I don't know if you ever had like a like a slack job where it's like you reach there and it's like you feel like you should be on your best behavior because like you know like you feel like all eyes on you when you realize like mm. uh like you know I could do I could do the certain thing that anybody's saying and so you can just do more and more and more until it's like a problem where it's like you have to be removed from that situation because right. you're nothing but 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 a but a cancer in that situation. So I feel like any neglect in any sort in any sort of way it will cause deterioration, you know what I mean? So neglect of modest and respect, it deteriorates the, the social um, importance of of like basic respect, your basic, you know, modern, like basic human um, interaction, you know what I mean? So it's like, if man is at a base level, anything is bound up, you know what I mean? So I think it's a, it's a huge part of it. Okay, um, you mentioned your intuition, your intuition and following your gut. At what point did you realize that that should be, I guess, the source for your navigation? And just elaborate on how important it is to follow your intuition as an artist and just as a person in general. It's definitely, I mean, artistry stems from the human experience. Right. So, from I know myself, from I know my father, my father would, would, would like, what if, what if it's one, Sentence I always remember my father saying is always do what is right. Okay. And so that's the simplest thing to to say, but the hardest thing to do. So I feel like everybody has a moral compass, or so you should, if you if you were a fully functioning person, you should right. have, or at least mentally, you should have a moral moral compass guiding you in what you feel in yourself is right and wrong. So I kind of just tend to follow that because of what was instilled in me. My, by my parents and by my surroundings, um, my positive surroundings. Um, uh, but I, yeah, I mean that's just that's just what it is. I always, I, I, I always as as I can remember myself as a human being, been trying to follow that. I mean to the best of my ability. Now, I mean, we human, you know what right. I mean? Like you, you can you can follow your, your natural flesh and your urges as well. Right. I mean, but uh, I'm also a Libra, so I, I believe I believe. I don't believe a lot in like I mean I don't know if I if I don't follow a lot of um, astrology and stuff like that but when it comes to my sign and things I read my, uh, about myself and my sign it's like a lot of things line up and I always seek balance so okay. like you mean it's a balance between the flesh and the spirit you know the event and the event and struggle but um, if you if if you're a person who believes in positivity then I feel like you'll always lean towards the, the more positive aspects, at least in young, the, the way you perceive life, you know what I mean? But um, the importance of, of following that for me, it's just got me, it's keep, keeping me, kept me um, on the straight and narrow, uh, so to speak, for the most part. It's, it's just keep me out of a lot of stuff I see a lot of people going through that I feel is just unnecessary, you know what I mean? And I decided to force it because of my upbringing combined with following Intuition. You know what I mean? Intuition. So, um, for others like me, I would say always follow your intuition if, if it leads you, if it's been leading you in the right way thus far, then okay. continue. Okay. And I, I also agree that I'm, I, well, I should say, I believe that the answers you're seeking are already inside you, you know what I mean? So, I, I do feel like intuition reveals your path, you know? Definitely. Okay. So, um, I had mentioned No Hit Wonders earlier. Mm. Rock really. You, you guys related, right? Yeah. Right. And um, he was one of the more, I mean, he's not as visible as an artist today, mm -hmm. but he was definitely one of the more advanced artists mm -hmm. when he was producing music at that time, you know? And he, he to me, he always appeared to have a global mindset. Uh, mm -hmm. He was never limited to just the space and, and time that he was in. So I'd like to know, with, 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 with him being so advanced and you working together with him, mm. share some of the jewels he might have dropped on you as you were developing. Because, I mean, he he would have been a part of you being on the, the tour at that time mm. and everything. So, share some of the things that he would have shared with you that would have helped in your development. Okay. Mine is like so much. I, <laughs> um, three, right? All right. Um, I would say definitely. Um, he instilled the importance of realizing that 
and this helped with my humility a lot that the competition is real out there, bro. Like, you think you could, like, uh, rap, sing, chat, do, do whatever, do a bar clip, whatever. You think you could do somebody out there doing it 10 times better every day, and that's all they do. You know what I mean? So the odds are really stacked against you. So you have to harness what's, what's, what's completely original and unique about yourself. And, wow. and, um, work it to the bone, you know what I mean? Um, he told me a lot of things that it would take me years to even try to, you know what I mean? Get to that point, and I think that's the whole point of it. You right. know what I mean? It's a, and it's a never, it's a never ending um, journey. You know, it's never, it's a never ending um, process. Right. You know what I mean? That's another thing that he told me about, and it's another thing that 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 I think is very important. That like the process never ends. You think. People always have the saying that they feel like they arrived, or they feel like once they arrived, then everything be be you know cool. Right. Like shower and, and spread out gold coins. Right, 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 right. No, it's like you know what I mean. It's like you have to work out it every day. Else, if like neglect creates deterioration, you know what I mean, in any aspect. Um, and just to take everything with a grain of salt and to read everything at face value. You know what I mean? Like try to, and not just read everything in face value, sorry. And just, yeah, just try to use your mind and don't be mentally lazy. And, and, and educate yourself in, in the field. Because he sat me down on his porch, right around the corner, you know, bro. Um, and he sat me on his porch like when they first started to feel like I could maybe do this music thing like you know what I mean I say like, I was frustrated at my job I was like hey, you know I have like one of the best voices around here like I could I could blow them like, why I just can't do this full time he's like he's he, 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 he standing in front of me look me in my eyes like you sure you want to do this like he looked me in my eyes you sure you want to get into this you sure you want to do this and I was like yeah. yeah without hesitation and I think that's what like when he knew that I was like about it you know what I mean and, and um I mean, we've, we've um, had a lot of successes, we've had a few failures, you know what I mean? But I think all that goes to show that you have to, you have to trust the process and just see where it takes you in the end, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm on a buzz right now, but I mean, that could die off any day, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's up to me to keep the buzz and have it grow into like a hype and have it just, you know what I mean? Like, just, you know what I mean? Explore it. So, who, who knows how long that can take, who knows? How quickly that'll be, but um, it's up to me to to work and and stay and, and believe in the process and just educate myself and just try to just apply it. You know what I mean? In in, in, this, in the smartest way possible. You know what I mean?